editable poly, the edit edges rollout, and the create shape from selection button. So first, I have an editable poly, and then once I have an editable poly, I'm going to select edge as my sub object. Once I have an edge, then I have edit edges as a rollout. And so I have edit edges as a rollout. And now I can come around and select edges. So I'm going to come around here and select edges. I'm holding my control key down and I'm picking the edges around this particular editable poly. And I'm picking a variety of these things here. I'm going to pick it so it's a closed shape there. Now I'm going to come over here and say create shape from selection. And in here it'll pop up a dialog box and it'll ask me for the shape name. I'm going to say it's a cylinder um, cut out. All right. And I have the option to make it in a smooth. Now this is actually going to make a spline out of this. So smooth is going to be nice and round. If I want that exact shape, I'm going to go with that exact shape and be linear and I'll say OK. Now, notice it created a new object over here. Okay, so I have this object parked right there. Um, so even if I come along, for example, and I delete uh, some of my objects, you can see that it's still parked there, right? So I can come along in here and, and bail out, and you can start seeing, hey, there's my there's my object parked right there, right? So I don't know if you can see that a little better, right? So I end up with a spline line now, left over and left behind. I'm just kind of getting that out of the way so you can kind of see that a little better, right? So there's my spline parked right there. So it's a separate object, and I can do what I want with that object now. So this was create shape from selection button. Uh, and it's under here, create shape from selection in my edit edges rollout. And that's available only when I select on the edge sub objects.